There's been a lot of allegations this last week against uh, Diddy. Uh, this time uh, we saw some pretty powerful ones coming from a former bodyguard of his uh, from the 90s uh, stating that, uh, yeah, I saw some of these parties. Uh, there was A-listers there. There was politicians there. Um, there were very high in power people at these uh, these parties uh, where I'm talking about the freak off parties uh, where things were really, you know, extreme. There's even a video allegedly being shopped around right now uh, with apparently an A-lister on there. Uh, it didn't say political or music or but A-lister of some sort um, that apparently was unaware they were being filmed uh, in this. But you can clearly see who they are. We do not know who that is yet. Um, Tell me about that. I mean, I mean, if you are someone who went to a Diddy party and, you know, you may be on this film, uh, do you think there's quite a few people right now going, God, I hope that's not a clip of me? <laughs> I think there are a number of high-level folks who are kind of biting their fingernails to see exactly what is going to be come out and be made public. Um, you know, and, and, and attending a raucous party in and of itself is, is not a crime, of mm -hmm. course. Uh, but if there was uh, impropriety, sexual misconduct, other criminal criminal actions going on, they could be implicated or at least associated. It could hurt their brand. It could hurt their livelihood. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it, obviously it, it's an absolutely horrendous thing if they are committing an, a crime or, or, or assaulting someone. Uh, but, I mean, if, if that's not going on, it's a raucous party and there's sex going on, but it's between consenting people, it certainly can affect an image uh, if that's not what, what you want. But we, we are starting to see more voices this week kind of coming out. Denzel Washington uh, confronting Diddy, apparently, at a party in 03, uh, saying he doesn't respect people. Um, we're seeing other individuals kind of pop up here and there. Elon Musk. Uh, called Diddy a good friend right before uh, the uh, disgraced rapper's uh, arrest. Um, I, I, I don't know if some people are just trying to get ahead of the game here. Uh, I mean, some of these people, it's just it, we're re refining these clips and information, and now it doesn't look so great. But um, what kind of legal repercussions could some of these people face by being connected to Diddy? There's a big difference between attending a party and actually being the organizer, the trafficker, the I'm going to bring in these people to this party and just showing up. If they just showed up to this party but didn't necessarily know all the surprises that Diddy had in store, does that make them criminally liable uh, if they're yeah. at the party? You know, in my appraisal, just talking hypothetically, if, if mm -hmm. they were just there, and they didn't participate in any illegality, but they may have observed something, yeah. they're likely not subject to criminal liability. But when they cross the line into uh, um, knowledge and facilitation, if they're sort of encouraging something that's going on and there's a woman who is apparently saying, hey, stop or no, or something like that, that's when we get a little closer to possibly being implicated on the criminal side. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you about this, uh, because uh, some of Diddy's kids, not all of them, but some of them seem pretty tight with him. Uh, we've heard allegations of them participating with his parties. Uh, you know, a father-son bonding thing, the freak-offs. You know, who doesn't have that? <laughs> it's insane. Family matter. Uh, family, yeah, family man. You know, they have their Sunday dinner, and then um, it's freak-off time. Um, but they clearly, there's a lot of dark allegations about some of those kids being, you know, just as bad as Diddy, like father, like son. Um, what sort of... Uh, legal uh, responsibility do they have uh, or, or, or sort of protections do they have, I guess, in terms of having to testify or not testify against their father? I know there's obviously the spousal, you know, thing that's out there. Uh, he doesn't have a spouse, so that's not in existence. But what about kids, uh, adult kids who may have been part of this stuff? Yeah, there, there is, although there is a spousal privilege, meaning like your partner can't testify against you, there is no familial privilege that's broader than that. Uh, so his kids could certainly be subpoenaed to testify or, and or to provide materials and information. Uh, and, and they don't always have a lot of great outs to avoid that. Now, they could get up there and, and invoke their Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination if they were subpoenaed. But that gives rise to a suspicion, especially in the public sphere, that they were engaged in some sort of impropriety and they're trying to uh, cover that up. Could and the, whether that's true or not is is, is uh, immaterial to the public's perception. Yeah, I mean, and this all theoretically speaking, they haven't been charged with anything as of right now. But uh, could the feds use that as 
you know, uh, uh, basically a carrot for them saying, look, we got all this on you. We will charge you. You will be in prison for the rest of your life, just like his father, unless you come and tell us everything you know about these parties and, and use you as a federal witness against your father. Can they can they put the pressure on like that to a, a child of, of him? Uh, 100%. And, and I imagine the feds are doing that not only to Diddy's family, but also potential associates and attendees of these parties. Um, they're putting that pressure on and they're probably going to give them a chance. And whether you know a person is going to turn on their own family to save their hide uh, is a difficult decision for anybody to make. There's allegedly, obviously, there's the tape with the one person on it, but then there's also this list that we've been hearing about that's eventually going to drop that has a lot of associates on it, and I'm sure the list doesn't necessarily say, and this person, and here's their role, and this person. So it's going to be, everybody's going to be looking at this list going, oh, my God, they're somehow associated, but it doesn't necessarily mean everybody was was criminally acting in it. But we are going to see a lot of names on here, and from what we understand, very recognizable names. What do you, how would how would you caution people when this does drop in terms of how to interpret the, the list when it shows up in terms of not jumping to conclusions or judgment too fast? You know, I think that's super important, Tony, because although we have this, you know, saga with Diddy that's been kind of gripping the nation, we do have to exercise a little bit of caution because, like I said, simply attending a party is not criminal, even if it's a wild party. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that we're in America, man. You can have freedoms. You, you can have your own lifestyle. And so long as you're not transgressing any criminal laws, you, you, you didn't do anything wrong. And we can't prejudge those folks before we really know the full extent of any alleged involvement. Yeah. Be a very fascinating. Who knows what we're going to know by uh, by next week? <laughs> we may have those names. Fascinating story. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to follow us wherever you download podcasts, and especially Apple Podcasts, where you can get advanced episode and premium content on our premium channel right there. Also, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any breaking updates on the stories that matter to you most. We're on TikTok, X, Instagram, Facebook. Just search Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi, and you'll find us right there. Again, thanks for watching.